Right, okay, we're back and uh, we're working away. I think we left you last time and I had completed this whole length down here. Um, I've even painted some of the boards now. Uh, these two have got to have a lick of paint just for a little bit of sealing. I'm sure they'll be all right in here. It's pretty stable and pretty warm with me two little radiator heaters that I've got. It keeps it lovely and warm actually. Um, so now we're right at the back section which I have in the last 10 or 15 minutes completed and it goes right round over there into the back I'm not sure whether you can see that so well there but it finishes over there but you can see my plan and we're going up each time the board goes up so at the moment it's looking like this could work quite well so there's the board there so we've got to go right down here and you'll see just there, sorry for the camera work, there's a gap and I'm working up to that gap. So the next video I'm hoping will be there and will be roughly at the right level and uh, if my back and my knees hold out. <laughs> so speak to you soon and uh, I shall just get on with it. Cheers for now. Right, so this is the uh, last update this week. Uh, haven't got quite as far as I'd like, but I've managed to get from the back where we left it in the previous segment, and I've got another piece in round here, although fitted just temporarily. Let's see if I can get you a better shot of that. Very difficult but yeah it's uh, it's obviously very dark under there i haven't got any lighting so uh, that will be in a in another episode i'm going to get some led lighting strips under here so that we can see what's going on but we've got to there and i've only got another couple of segments really to go before we reach that light area there where we're going to go up just there Sorry about the camera work, very difficult. But yeah, um, I've done all right, but um, unfortunately, uh, Mrs. Exhaven, who works at the school, is on school holidays at the moment. So uh, <laughs> my work in the cabin is slightly curtailed as we do other things. Um, so that's where we're at. Hopefully in the next episode in two weeks, I'll have got a bit further, but I do have another job to do around my parents' house. So um, we'll see how we get on. Um, I'll definitely do a little bit more, but yeah, as you can see, we're just going up in sections. They're just over half an inch, um, which is what the risers go up in. So, um, you know, with a little bit of fettling, we can get that sorted out. Um, and that's where we're at for now. So what I'm going to do is leave you with a little bit of a running session and uh, we'll come back to it in two weeks, hopefully. Uh, it may be three, just depending on how I'm getting on. Right, just as um, a little aside really, I have been working on another project. and uh, It's the Metcalf Parish Church. and um, I, It's funny with the Metcalf kits. I like them for the ease uh, of, of doing them uh, compared with the Scale Scenes kits. Um, but I think some of them lack a little detail or, you know, I don't think look quite detailed enough. Maybe a better way of putting, they're lovely kits, but I've decided with the parish church because I like it. I like the shape of it. Uh, and I've decided to sort of do a few little bits myself. I've put the roofing on from the York model rail, uh, which I'm pretty pleased with. It's not finished yet, but it's close to being finished. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to practice some weathering on it um, once it's complete. And uh, you'll hopefully see that in two weeks' time in my next video after this one. So, uh, but I've been doing it in the evenings when there's nothing on the telly. It's quite a reasonably easy kit to make. And um, I suppose I've done it over a period of three or four evenings. Just an hour here, an hour there. And it's surprising how far you can get. So, uh, yeah, and that will fit on the layout somewhere one day, but it's, uh, 
it's just something nice to do really uh, in the evenings. I don't go out in the cabin in the evenings and I tend to sit with uh, Mrs X Haven. And uh, if she's watching one of her programmes, I, uh, I get on with this. So there we go.